Hey guys, so I'm trying to find Sir Arthur Guinness's grave once more. This is going to be my second attempt at this. So hopefully this time I can find it. So I've been told it's up here somewhere. So hopefully I'll have better luck today. You might notice I've got a uh, different angle on the camera today. It's up there. Cool little house there. So I think, I think it's up here. So yeah, it, uh, let me know if you prefer the camera angle where it is now. A dodgy bridge coming up, one liner. I call that plowing where you come behind a car that is going over a dangerous uh, dangerous area and what they do is they I suppose plow the way for, forward for you you know they're taking the danger because obviously over bridges like that where it's clearly only designed for one car it's uh, it's better that you have someone go ahead of you and uh, make sure the coast is clear so to speak so uh, yeah, I call that plowing, and uh, I often use it sometimes if uh, I'm coming up to dodgy spots. Got the state of this road. Oh, I think I see it. See up there? I think that's it. Some nice views around here. Yeah, I think that's it up there. So I just gotta find a way to get in there now. So no. I think that was it there. It's one thing I always do when I'm parking somewhere I'm not familiar with the ground or well I'm not confident with the ground I should say. I always put a stone underneath my uh, my stand here to distribute the, the waste better in the ground so it doesn't sink. I uh, had a problem uh, in the past actually where, uh, it happened to me probably twice before where I came back and the bike had almost sunk into the ground so not a good thing. Actually when I was in Germany on the motorbike, uh, parked on normal tarmac atom, asphalt, what you Americans call it, and uh, it was so hot out that day that when we came back, uh, we were sitting beside the bike for maybe two seconds. We were only gone maybe, maybe 40 minutes or something, but we came back, uh, I was sitting beside the bike, and uh, not on the bike, but beside it, and uh, how you doing? You probably think I'm a weirdo. Yeah, I was sitting beside the bike. And the bike just uh, keeled over into uh, into the hot thermic and melted straight into it. So uh, yeah, it's crazy. The bike was okay though. I had uh, soft panniers on it at the time and it was fine. Oh, I'd love to go back to Europe again someday. You know, right into the centre of it. I mean, obviously we're in Europe here now, but I mean, right into the centre of Europe again. Absolutely love that. It's one of the the best trips I've ever had. It's probably the best one after Vietnam. As uh, some of my subscribers will know, I've been to Vietnam and uh, doing a bike trip out there was just unbelievable. So good. But yeah, doing it doing around Europe as well was on my Kawasaki Ninja. That was an experience as well. It was my first proper motorbike trip and absolutely loved that. Here we go. Sir Arthur Guinness. Just take a moment to pause at this here. Look at that view. You just see for miles. It's very well kept, this place. Oh, there we go. So you can probably get in over here.
This is it. Arthur Guinness. There we go. In the adjoining vault are the deposited mortal remains of Arthur Guinness, late of James Gate II, the city and Belmont in the county of Dublin, Esquire, who departed this life on the 23rd of January, 1803, 878. And also those of Olivia, his wife, who died in the month of March, 1814, 872. They lived universally beloved and respected, and their memory will long be cherished by a numerous circle of friends, relations, and descendants. In the same vault is Richard Guinness, late of Leakslip Esquire, and those of his wife, with those also of the same, of the children and grandchildren of the four said Arthur and Olivia. It's getting a bit hard to read that, but yeah, that's it there, that's the, for the main plaque and again a church that used to be and has come into disrepair you can actually see they put buttresses up here to stop the side of this from falling down that looks pretty good I might be the first person ever to do a vlog in here. Okay guys, I was just reviewing this stone a bit more. It seems to be more about the uh, the family with the surname Reed. So I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, Reed again. So that's a, um, a stone for them anyway. So I know it's just like a stairs here. So I'm just gonna try this. 